the year 1946. While India was about to become independent and rewrite history, a small village in Gujarat, Anand, was about to witness a revolution. Anchored by the exploitation of the local private dairies, the dairy farmers of Kedar district approached Sardar Vallabhai Patel, who suggested they unite and form a cooperative society. In order to gain control over their resources, two villages came together under the leadership of Sri Tribhuvan Das Patel. When the then Bombay government refused to register the union, the farmers did the unthinkable. They went on a milk strike. Fifteen days of milk drought later, the stubborn government had to bow down. The strength of cooperation wrote a new chapter in Indian history with the establishment of the Kedar Milk Union. By the year 1964, this small cooperative milk union had become a movement. The then Prime Minister, Sri Lal Bahadur Shastri, recognized the transformative power of this model and established the National Dairy Development Board, NDDB, in Gujarat to spread the spirit of Anand across the country. Thus, under the leadership of Dr. Varghis Kurian, began NDDB's journey of development that went on to change the landscape of India's dairy industry. How could the spirit of Anand be spread across the country? It required funds, skilled manpower, patience and resilience. But most of all, it required a vision. This vision came in the form of Operation Flood, the world's largest food aid for development program that was launched in 1970. Under this program, dairy commodities received as gifts were sold, and the money was used to create infrastructure for the cooperatives to procure, process, and market milk. By the end of Operation Flood, the national milk grid had expanded to more than 72,000 village cooperative societies in more than 300 towns, cities, and metros. Milk had become a source of regular income for millions of farmers all over India. A historically milk-scarce country had become the world's largest producer of milk. When the economy was liberalized in India, a unique 10-year perspective plan was implemented by NDDB to equip cooperatives to face the future. The plan's strategy included increasing animal productivity, maintaining quality at all levels, strengthening cooperatives, and building a national information network. In the year 2010, India's milk production grew at 4%, twice the global growth rate. But the demand for milk has been increasing exponentially. To meet this ever-increasing demand, the Government of India, along with NDDB, launched the National Dairy Plan, NDP, also known as Mission Milk, in 2012. In its first phase, NDP covered 18 states and expanded the cooperative footprint by linking more villages to markets. The focus was on increasing productivity through genetic improvement, scientific breeding and nutrition, with new technologies being delivered at the farmer's doorstep. This resulted in improved marketing opportunities for farmers, better milk collection and processing facilities, and increased income. By 2019, India's milk production reached 188 million tons with over 17 lakh milk farmers benefiting from dairy cooperatives. Through the years, NDDB has spearheaded various initiatives that have been the driving force behind the progress and development of the dairy industry in the country. The National Dairy Development Board has been encouraging women to actively participate in the cooperative dairy industry, allowing them to become financially independent, 
and gain decision-making power. ENARF, a unique information network system that monitors animal productivity-related activities, has been scaled up by the Government of India and NDDB. The new National Digital Livestock Mission will enable farmers and policymakers to take informed decisions. Other applications like eGopala and NDERP have been developed to upgrade the digital ecosystem of the dairy sector. NDDB is working with the Government of India to implement Rashtriya Gokul Mission, a central sector scheme to develop indigenous bovines via genetic improvement and assisted reproductive technologies. The Dairy Board is helping milk producer associations in nine states access organized markets and upgrade dairy processing and marketing infrastructure using JICA and Government of India funding. For the modernization and establishment of milk processing, drying and value-added products, NDDB is also implementing Dairy Processing and Infrastructure Development Fund. Under its marketing scheme, the Dairy Board provides milk unions with consultancy on sales and distribution, assistance with branding and marketing, along with training and capacity building as well. The Dairy Board assisted the Bureau of Indian Standards BIS, in incorporating the quality mark into its product certification and developing the conformity assessment scheme for milk and milk products. NDDB audits dairy plant processes and trains key officials in the handling of milk and milk products. Through grant-in-aid and interest-free secured loans, NDDB helps promising producers-owned institutions improve their entire business operations and grow their market share. The Dairy Board continues to provide financial assistance to cooperatives to strengthen their infrastructure. At the request of various state governments, NDDB manages several milk unions and federations to ensure efficient institutional platforms that would in turn help dairy farmers get the best value for their milk. To augment income of rural households, the Dairy Board established a manure value chain model to harness the potential of cattle manure a mechanism to procure and process slurry from farmers has been also put in place. The aggregated slurry is used to manufacture organic fertilizers sold under the Sudhan trademark. A 4,000 cubic meter capacity biogas plant, the first of its kind, has been set up at Varanasi Milk Union to meet the thermal and electrical energy needs of the dairy plant. For optimal solar energy utilization, the Solar Pump Irrigators Cooperative Enterprise SPICE allows farmers to utilize solar energy for themselves and sell excess energy to the grid. Under the Government of India's formation and promotion of 10,000 Farmer Producer Organization Scheme, NDDB is the implementing agency for 100 Fodder Plus FPOs and 26 Honey FPOs. The Dairy Board is also promoting scientific beekeeping under NBHM by focusing on capacity building, input support and infrastructure to achieve the sweet revolution. NDDB Foundation for Nutrition's Gift Milk Program helps government school pupils get nutritional assistance. Wholly owned subsidiaries that were started by NDDB to fulfill specific objectives and play their part in the development of dairy farmers have established themselves as important independent entities today. Three national level multi-state cooperatives have been set up by the Ministry of Cooperation. 
the National Cooperative Organics Limited, with NDDB as its chief promoter, will focus on increasing market access for organic products. The Bharatiya Beej Sahkari Samiti Limited, with NDDB as one of its promoters, will undertake good quality seeds related activities across its supply chain. While the National Cooperative Exports Limited, with its chief promoter being Gujarat Cooperative Milk Marketing Federation, will work towards boosting exports of dairy products. In an endeavor to establish the Indian dairy industry on a global platform, NDDB, as the Secretariat of the Indian National Committee of the International Dairy Federation, organized IDF World Dairy Summit in India after a gap of 48 years. Like a nourishing river flowing through the land, NDDB has been transforming the dairy landscape empowering communities, enriching lives, and leaving a lasting imprint of progress and prosperity.